Hello beautiful people, today we are back with new video showing you the first day of college in Melbourne, Australia. Let's get started. So video to twist here that this is not my first day of college but more than 500 students lay our first day which is overseas students as well as domestic students included I am here as the MIT volunteer which I was last year June as a MIT student services as a MIT volunteer work Let's start with college the building This is a 1920s design building structure यदि एक अपनी एकोनी स्ट्रीट प्रेजेंस है जो कि लोकेटेड आई द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ लाटो बैंड एलिजाबेथ स्ट्रीट These are the lecture halls or can say the auditorium of our college. Edi Kazgal e aki e dono rooms ek single common wall share kar deya. Jina unu ki at the time of common presentation slide kar jita janda hai to the right side. Hun baat chuke hain nearly 9 am and new students ani start ho chuke hain. Hun ena nu ab sab do pehla registration karani pani hai. So here is the benefit of the digital devices Jekar to see already registered or event right there So you have to just scan this code and skip the queue So here are the our duties and responsibilities come into effect where we have to give the students with their student cards according to their departments. There are more than four types of student cards varies from School of IT and Engineering, School of Master and Professional Accounting, Fed Uni, Melbourne Institute of Technology, School of IT and many more.
how a rip forms. When waves break on a beach, they push water towards the shoreline. Once that water reaches the shore, it has to find a way to get back out to sea. So it flows into the deeper channels and away from the shore. These deeper channels are called rip currents or rips. Here are some examples of rips. They can behave and flow in different ways. They can be found against headlands, Sometimes they flow directly out to sea. They can also flow at an angle. In the middle age group, find themselves into danger. So it's really important for everyone to keep in mind things about water safety. Number one, the most simple thing, if we're going to the beach, the river, the lake, the swimming pool, is always swim with a friend, okay? If you don't have any friends, or you, do, or you want to go to the beach, and your friends do not want to come with you, it's okay, make sure you go somewhere where it is busy, where there are lots and lots of people. Brigade, officer in the middle there, and we've got the ambulance and paramedic. So the three of us make up uh, emergency services, along with a volunteer service called uh, State Emergency Services, which is uh, not on there. But as you can see, we all wear, you know, all dark uniforms, but we are distinguished by our shoulder flashes. So our uh, Soviet Victoria Police, and then there'll be Fire Brigade. Which is a shame because they're very beautiful and they're very, very expensive. It, more common in captivity than they are. You can get one of these for 100 to 100 dollars. As long as you have the license, the retail license, it's about $80 a year. You can get one of these for about $100. You can get a test for about $100. Sorry about the nose. Yes, I couldn't. I know. You can't really see it. Thank you so much, of course.
got the most powerful bite in the animal kingdom, just with his teeth aren't that big. They are still more than big enough to do some serious damage. So if he grabs and shakes or rolls, he destroy my animal. So I put this on when he comes out there. Even in this size. Even at this size. Yep. When they're really little, they can't even break this. But from this size, yeah, I know people that have had to get nerve surgery on their hands and have got 83, 85% of the use of their hands. They've got the So that's how the day one of the orientation ends with all happy faces of new students. They are welcoming by the MIT and by familiar with MIT staff and the seniors.